Sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to start down here. We're going to go northwest, so that's 45 degrees, splits it in half. This is going to be for 16 <coughs> kilometers. And then I'm going to go 68 degrees, 22. Well, let's just see what this angle here is. I'm going to go 90 degrees, 0 minutes, and subtract 68 degrees, 22 minutes. Well, to do that, I probably need to steal an 80, steal one, 89 degrees, 60 minutes. What's 60 minus 22? 38 minutes. 9, 8 will be 1, 21 degrees, 38 minutes. So that's what this one is. Uh, 21 degrees, 38 minutes. Question? Did I lose anybody? I lost you? Where? Where? Oh, okay. So every degree can be broken down into 60 minutes. Every minute can be broken into 60 seconds. Yeah. I wish they wouldn't have done that with this problem, but that's okay. 22 kilometers. Guys in the back, don't guys in the back, don't get in the habit of chit chatting. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to go from the beginning to the end, and that's going to be my total distance. That's what we're trying to find. So how do you like that so far? Is that part okay? Now, this is a big bunch of angles and triangles. It would be nice to, you know, break it down a little bit. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take each of these and make a triangle out of them. Triangles. Even this big one, I'm going to make a triangle. A triangle here. Make a triangle across here, triangle up like that. And so when I have all of these triangles put together, let me do it. it really doesn't want me to do that, move that line. Oh, well. So these two triangles are going to add up to these two green ones are going to be the triangles that are going to help us get to this grand total triangle right here. Doesn't it, it helps to kind of think of it that way. So what I did is I took this wacky scaling triangle and I broke it into these two. This has a, a horizontal distance, horizontal and a vertical. So here's horizontal one. And here's vertical one, here's horizontal two, and here's vertical two. So if I'm looking at the horizontal total, I reversed it here, excuse me, vertical total and the horizontal total, you can kind of see what's going on here if you look at these pictures. The horizontal total it's just going to be H1 and H2. What are you going to do with those two? How do H1 and H2 combine to get H total? Plus or minus? Plus. How do the V1 and V2 work together to get V total? Plus, right? So what you'll do is you need to figure out what the H total and V total are. Okay. So we've got to break those down and figure out what each are going to be. So we're going to do that. And let's do it. So let's start with H1 and H2. So H1, if this is 45, this is 16, what will H1 be? 16 over the square root of 2. And what will V1 be? Same thing. So that was easy because it was 45, 45. We won't have the same nice luck for this one. I'm going to take the sine of 68 degrees and 22 minutes 
And what is the sine of 68 degrees 22 minutes? H2 over 22. And then the cosine of 68 degrees 22 minutes is the adjacent V2 over 22. Well, why did I do that? Well, I did that because now I can solve for H2 and get H2 is 22 times the sine of 68 degrees 22 minutes. And V2 is going to be 22 times the cosine 68 degrees 22 minutes. Get this out of the way. And we need some num some decimals here. So to do that, grab your calculators. I'll race you. See you can get a calculators out faster. Going to beat Blair this time. Oh, you got it. Uh, I usually can beat a couple of people, but not very many. All right, so we're going to do 16 divided by the square root of 2. And that's going to give us 11.31. So those horizontal, 11.31. Now the horizontal was going in this direction. I like putting those arrows. It just makes it a little clearer to see what's going on. Is that all right? Everybody get that? And this will be also 11.31. And that one's going to be going up. Oh, wait a minute. This should be... I didn't write this correctly. This should be V1, but it's right now, V1. Now, the one you don't like are all these minutes and seconds and degrees, but this is no problem. 22 times the sine of 68 degrees, and I go second angle or second apse, zero, and then 22 minutes. Second angle, 22 minutes, 2. There you go. 20.45. Do the other one. 22 times uh, cosine, 68 degrees. Somebody told me you don't need to put the degree on. I think they might be right. 22 minutes. And that gives you 8.11. So this one is um, 20.5, and that was going this direction. And this one was 8.1, and that was going up. For that. All right, so now, once you know horizontal total, you have this big yellow triangle. This is the easy part, by the way. You've done the hard part already. The horizontal total is going to be, I guess i got to add these up, don't I? It's 11.3 plus 20.5, which is 31.8, and these are in kilometers. So that's the horizontal part. That's, that's going to be the horizontal. Horizontal total. Now we want to know the vertical total. So the vertical total is going to be 11.3 plus 8.1. All right, so that's 11.3 plus 8.1, which is 19.4 kilometers. That's this one, 19.4 kilometers. And that's the vertical total. Well, how hard is it going to be to find this total distance if you know the total horizontal and the total vertical? How hard is that going to be? Simple. It's just going to be Pythagorean theorem. So you're going to do that last. The distance total is the Pythagorean theorem of the horizontal total squared plus the vertical total squared. So that's just going to be, in this case, uh, 31.8 squared plus 19.4 
somebody calculate that for me. Theta is just going to be the tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent, right? So if I take those, opposite is 19.4 over adjacent 31.8. So if we undo it, it will be the inverse tangent of 19.4 over 31.8. And could somebody get me a calculation? All right, so um, when I use my calculator, I get 31 degrees, 23 minutes. Uh, what did you get for this, this part here, the square root of 31.8 squared plus 19.4 squared, square root? 0.2, good, kilometers. Now, think about this. When the boat went 16 kilometers and 22, if they just went straight ahead, it'd be 38. Does it make sense that this is less than 38? Yeah. It should be less. So the the answer would be 37.2 kilometers. Then it would be, uh, I think this is north, or actually this is west. West, 31 degrees, 23 minutes north. So you start by going west, and then you're going to sweep that angle going north. And that's that boat problem worked out so you can uh, find the bearing and the distance.